Hey guys, wanted to come out today and try out my new sights that I've put on my Smith & Wesson M&P and they are the Ameriglows and they've got a orange painted front sight with a tritium insert in it and then the rear sight is actually the U-notch and it's got a small tritium dot on the back. So it is an I-dot system, not the uh, three dot that I normally run, but want to give these a shot. Why I wanted to move to these or try these out is my XDS, when it came, it's got a fiber optic front sight on it and it's orange. The rear sight, the rear sight is uh, two white dots, so it is a three dot system. But that front sight being in that orange color, man, it just stood out to me like a, a sore thumb. So I really like that aspect of it. So that's kind of what drove me to these. They also come with a, I think it's a yellow uh, painted front sight with these Ameriglows. The second reason is, is I wanted to try something that I'm not typically used to. I like the three dot system as far as the sight picture goes, but that's because I've always used that. So I'm comfortable with it. I wanted to get out of that comfort zone and try different things because I've found in my years of shooting that oftentimes when you do that, it's like, oh man, I should have done this years ago. So I wanted to try something a little bit different and see how it goes. So very excited to shoot these. Let's see what happens. Took out a target that I had on hand, which is the Dot Torture. Guys, if you haven't tried that one, try it. It's a lot of fun. But instead of actually doing the dot torture, what I was doing was just using these circles, standing back at five yards and shooting five rounds at each circle. Wanted to see how the front sight, all this uh, new sight picture for me, interacted at five yards with those small circles. Now, just to give you a little bit, bit of an idea, at five yards, that orange front sight pretty much takes up the entire circle at that distance. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at at that distance. Now shooting a three dot system and going to more of this stack system, this I dot system, the straight eight is what some people call it, uh, other sites. It did take a little bit of adjustment and the fact that I have a U-notch on the rear sight instead of your traditional straight down, 90 degree angle, and straight across type sight. So there was a little bit of adjustment there and finding out where to place that front sight. That being said, you shoot these a couple of times and you're really not gonna notice a difference. Again, one of the main reasons I got it was for that bright orange front sight to grab my attention. Absolutely it does. They shoot great that way. While it did take a little bit of an adjustment to uh, not see those three dots that I'm traditionally used to, it does lend itself to be a cleaner sight picture. So I'll kind of uh, flush that over time and when I do a full review on these sites, we'll kind of see what, uh, what that comes out to be, at least in my opinion. But right now I'm kind of on the fence about it, leaning towards the, eh, I kind of like the cleaner sight picture. One aspect that I notice is that front orange sight is quite large, so when you're trying to dial it into these small circles, you've, it's a bit different than what I'm used to on my other front sights where they're a little bit smaller, so it's somewhat easier to be more precise. That said, it is a big front orange sight, and the design is so it grabs your attention, and it does. Now. As I really started to dial in the groups, especially on the last round, the last round I just nailed it. One of the things I noticed is that I, when shooting slow and using the precision, I could almost use the tritium sight that's embedded right in the middle of the orange paint and use that as my very fine detailed precision shot. Now that is one 
one to end on because I'm out of ammunition. Today coming out, aside from just shooting these sights, one thing I want to do is slow the pace down of my shooting, work on that trigger control, work on that front sight alignment and focusing on that front sight. So I didn't really do a lot of quick shooting a lot of movement with these sites so i'm excited to do that in the future so this is just kind of a quick report on my first use with these Ameriglo Ameriglos with that orange painted front sight with the tritium insert u-notch in the back with that uh, little tritium insert right in the middle of that rear sight so far i really like them and when i get to shoot and fast i'm thinking that front sight is just going to be freaking sweet so i'll have to do that next round again i really wanted to focus on slowing things down that that old adage of go slow to go fast that was my focus out here but those sites that's a quick report thanks much as always guys see ya